In this video, we're going to review AWS Tax Assessment and Currency Exchange. First, let's review what happens after a private offer is accepted. After a private offer is accepted and the buyer purchases the offer, there are three key steps left in the process. Invoicing, disbursement, and reporting. In this video, we're going to focus on invoicing and how tax and exchange rates affect invoices. How does AWS assess tax? In a number of countries, sellers of electronically supplied services are required to collect taxes, like sales tax, value-added taxes, goods and services taxes, and so on. These are considered indirect taxes. Whether or not AWS Marketplace charges tax is determined by a few different factors. The first two are the buyer's tax address and the product type. The third factor determines the responsible party for charging and collecting taxes, the AWS Marketplace Facilitator Laws. Most U.S. tax jurisdictions, and quite a few international ones, have legislation that require all Marketplace Facilitators, or MPF for short, including AWS Marketplace, to be the tax-liable party. If AWS, as a Marketplace operator, is considered the facilitator, then AWS is liable to charge, collect, and remit tax to taxing authorities. AWS will also determine which transactions, B2B and or B2C, they must collect indirect taxes on. Any jurisdictions where AWS is required to charge and collect tax, AWS will do so. In some cases, AWS is not required to charge, collect, and remit taxes to taxing authorities. In these cases, it is the seller's responsibility, and you may have an obligation to calculate, collect, invoice, and remit. If you determine there is a tax liability that you need to collect, some sellers handle this by invoicing the buyer separately in their own system. If you need more information on potential tax liability or how tax is assessed, please visit the AWS Marketplace Tax Help page and review with your internal tax team. So, who pays the invoice? There are a few different things to consider when answering this question. The payer account is the account that will receive the invoices from AWS Marketplace. Customers can set up linked accounts for subsidiaries, divisions, locations, departments, etc. within their organization to track purchases or budget by separate P&Ls Usage per linked account will show on each invoice. The billing address on the buyer account that subscribes to the AWS Marketplace product is considered the buyer's tax address. The address for a linked account is considered the tax address, unless the buyer sets up a tax address on their account. A buyer can use the tax registration number of the payer account for linked accounts by enabling tax settings inheritance. When tax settings inheritance is enabled, the tax registration information on the payer account is added to all accounts on your AWS organizations. Now, let's talk about exchange rates. There are three key things you should know about exchange rates and how invoices are created and paid. AWS Marketplace invoices are created in US dollars unless the buyer opts into a supported buyer currency conversion. The buyer's currency conversion does not impact the way AWS Marketplace pays out to the vendor. This will still be based on the US dollar amount that was originally entered as the cost of the product or private offer amount. AWS Marketplace sellers will still get the full US dollar amount. They are not subject to any foreign exchange risk as a result of the customer paying in a non-US dollar currency. Currently, AWS Marketplace also supports invoice payments in 14 local currencies. How does AWS determine exchange rate? First, AWS uses daily foreign exchange rates published by Bloomberg to calculate the exchange rates used to convert invoices. Next, the type of invoice determines when AWS assesses the Bloomberg market rate. For upfront and scheduled invoices, AWS uses the Bloomberg market rate when the invoice is created. For consolidated pay-as-you-go invoices, the Bloomberg market rate from the last day of the month is used. And finally, the exact exchange rate is shown on each invoice. To summarize, there are three key steps for vendors once a private offer is accepted. Invoicing, disbursement, and reporting. In this video, we discussed how tax assessments and exchange rates can affect the invoicing process. You can check out our other videos related to disbursement and reporting if you'd like more information on those steps of the process. Thank you!